NASCAR on TNT from Bristol Motor Speedway. Coverage of the Sharpie 500 tonight. Next weekend, it's on to another one of NASCAR's great venues, Darlington Raceway in South Carolina. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for you. Bud Pole qualifying, the NASCAR Busch Series race, and the Mountain Dew Southern 500. Here's our Craftsman Truck Series update. What's going on with one of NASCAR's top touring divisions? Well, a heck of a championship race is what's going on. Five drivers within 100 points. Mike Bliss, obviously the leader. Terry Cook. Robert Preston, just 100 back. My buddy Rick Crawford in fourth. And a race coming up in Richmond for the trucks a week from Thursday night. That's always a good show. All right, Jimmy Spencer, Sterling Marlin, Kevin Harvick. They're going to restart 12th, 13th, and 14th. And by the way, Kyle Petty did not beat Jeff Gordon back to the line. And NASCAR looked at the photo finish camera, so he is still the first car one lap down. I'm very frustrated. Oh, yeah. And Rusty Wallace is trying to get by Kyle to see if he can go up and catch Jeff Gordon. Looks like he'll do it going down and turn one. Gordon and Wallace, Ward Burton, Dale Earnhardt Jr., and Tony Stewart, the top five. And you've got Johnny Benson, Bobby Labonte, Kurt Busch, Matt Kenseth, and Bobby Hamilton up into the top ten. Casey Atwood, one and eleven. Solid night for the seven car. And we've only got out of the 43 starters, 14 of them on the lead lap. It's interesting to see how this strategy is going to pay out, pay off, because I just don't quite understand why Jeff Gordon, Rusty Wallace, those guys did not stop. We talked about it on the break, and Marty's saying that they are concerned about tire wear, but they got a lot of drivers out there right now, a lot of cars that are not planning on stopping anymore. But the guys who are leading have to stop once more. Oh, right. yeah, they've got to stop. 24 to... Um, I mean, they'll 22 to 8. Those guys are all going to have to stop again. But you got some of these guys in the back, like Kenseth in ninth. Well, Bobby Labonte in seventh. Bobby Labonte in seventh. They're yeah. saying they're they're on the track till the checkered flag waves. That's right. And if it goes green, the guys that didn't stop are. Oh, this is toast. Bristol Wally. I know. What am I thinking? If it goes Bristol, green. Bristol, full moon. Yeah, come on. Watching Bobby Labonte there. Not looking like he's been hampered much by that uh, nicked up left front. Weber, let's give it a try. What do you got? Well, like you were saying, uh, Jimmy Maycar talked to Mark Quackfist, the head engine builder, and that 18 car, which topped off at lap 132, is good to go to the finish. They came in, talked about it, said we might need a break, but we're going to go ahead and go for it. They came in and topped off on 132, good to go to the end. That's Kurt Busch in the 97 car. I'm sure he's good to go to the end. I thought I saw a puff of smoke out of the back of the 97 car. Yeah, yeah I'm definitely. seeing smoke. Huh? And he is good, Benny. He's also good to go to the finish. But he's got some, some smoking out the left rear. I don't know if that's a tire rub or... That could be a tire rub because in that caution, the big caution down there in turn one, they said the toe out was knocked. The toe was knocked out. They came in and put left sides on, put in fuel, said he was good. He didn't go to the end, but they were going to watch the left side tires. Yeah, well, they're, that may the left, left rear, it looks like, but... See any damage? You? I can't see any damage. I don't know where the smoke is coming from. Right. Now, didn't do it that time. If you look close, he's got damage up and down the left side of that car. Okay, okay. good. Thank you, Bill. What I've got here, over here, in my notes, BP, Kurt stopped at lap 326. It'd be that, that pit stop that they were talking about that he's going to go to the finish from on fuel. That's a long ways, but... Mm -hmm. Kurt, winner of the spring race here at Bristol. Remember that famous, uh, oh, oh, it's getting tight there. Famous or infamous last laps scuffle with Jimmy Spencer, depending on your point of view. All of a sudden, Kyle Petty in the 45 car is really struggling trying to keep up. He's gotten on the outs. Well, one thing, he's gotten on the outside, and this he can't get to the bottom. This string of traffic keeps, keeps uh -oh, going we got Trouble, along. Casey Atwood. Oh, and Dave Blaney Blaine. caught a piece yeah. of it. Casey was having a good run, too. Yes, he was. He was on the lead lap in 12th place. Uh, not much for going green. 
Yikes. 13th caution flag. A little fuel in the pipe there, huh? Well, he had a bunch of fuel. Left front tires knocked it flat. And Jimmy Johnson once again did not get a lap back. Pit road is closed. Because Dave Blaney's car was sitting in the back the stretch pit opening. Mike Skinner in the seven car, Casey Atwood. Man, like a little contact. Looked like a lot of contact. <laughs> Yeah, and if you if you use that yellow line in the bottom of the racetrack as a gauge, Mike was kind of he was kind of up off the bottom too. Yeah. That's too bad for Casey. Left front tire obviously is flat. You see that? Yeah, he's gone a lap down trying to get it fired back up and around. Okay, pit road is open this time. Are we going to see the 24 car stop here? Yes. No, I don't know. Yeah, well, no, okay. Thank you. Oh, yeah, wait till he gets there. That's what we like about you, <laughs> I'm Wally. Undecided. You're so decisive. <laughs> Here they come. Four tires, guys. Four tires. Kenseth stays out. Bobby Labonte pits. Wow. Kenseth stays out. Well, Bobby had to pit. Bobby Hamilton stays out. Jimmy Spencer stays out. Harvick and Marlin, who pitted on the last yellow, they both stay out. Because if these guys all put tires on and he stayed out, he was a sitting duck. There's only, what, 13 cars on the lead lap? Yep. 129 laps to go for these pit stops, Bill. Ward Burton comes down pit road, was coming. If the 24 and the 2 came, his car is a little tight. It'll be four tires. He said Rusty Wallace got by because he had to run his crew. Bobby Labonte's pitted right behind him, also getting four tires and fuel. Marty? Rusty Wallace on pit road. He's going to take the tear off off. Give me four tires and get out of the way because I'm coming off pit road. In front of him, Jeff Gordon is a little tight in the middle. Half a pound out of the right front tire for Jeff Gordon. And Ward Burton beats all these guys off pit road, Bill. And they got to stop because they got to wait for the field to go by. Now field finally goes by. And Junior comes out late again. Matt, what's going on with Tony Stewart? Benny, he hit pit road in the fifth position. Tony said the car was a little tight still in the center, and he was giving up a little bit on the forward by And an air pressure adjustment for Stewart. All right, let's check how they got to that scoring stripe at the exit of pit road, see who got out first. Shift. All right, the winner is... Ward Burton. Ward Burton. The flame car. Rusty and Jeff. That'd be the farthest back Gordon's been about all night. Yeah. Under caution at Bristol.